What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Pillars of Eternity. My name is Splattercat and I'm happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little bit. We're back in the Temple of Aeothos right now. In the previous episode, we gotten stuck up against a couple of bells. Okay, well, not up against them, but we have been next to some bells that needed to have some detective work done. Unfortunately, we've only found notes that indicate that the middle one is second, and so we don't really know what else the order might be. And most importantly, we don't know how many participants there are in the order, which is far more important. Let's say there's only like three rings, then we know the first one has to be left or right, and the third one has to be left or right, and we could just like brute force that out. However, if there's like 13 rings in the entire sequence, then this could could get a little bit nappy and terrible and so I'm gonna leave it alone for right now until we find further clues I don't really know what else to do with it anyways I've got everybody in sneakificating mode right now we're doing our rogi business all over the place which I think being a rogi is kind of like being a yogi it's a lot like that it's a lot like that it's kind of just like a rogue who's really really good at teaching other people to do that Ooh. The nearby crystals light the cracked mosaic floor in shades of orange and at certain angles the metallic symbol beneath your feet gleams gold as you look on, the air shimmers as if with summer heat. The very dust and air seem to pull together until a thin glowing mist appears before you. In its rippling gleam, you sometimes think you can see the shape of a man. Features rendered in broad strokes of air and smoke. Who are you? Your voice sparks movement. The spirit surges with a sudden, blazing light. And in the next moment, you're somewhere else, your mind assailed with a sudden wave of fear and noise. You are in the chapter hall. Priests and faithful have gathered in a great crowd, spilling into the hall. Bodies press against you, surging forward to listen. Your own grief is mirrored in the faces around you. Some of the initiates are weeping. Someone has snuffed the candles, and the room is dark, save for the podium lit from behind. Two people can stand before it, or two people stand before it, lit in silhouette. A man is shouting, voice so ragged with fear that you cannot understand what he says. But the rectrix stands calm and unmoved. Her strength will see you all through these dark times. You feel that hope like a spark behind your ribs. Somewhere behind you, someone begins to sing. Everywhere we go, somebody's got to start singing. Somebody got Every time there's hardship, somebody starts singing. Every single time. Now is not the time for amazing grace. The spirit tears itself away from you with sudden dizzying force, and you find yourself back before the ruined altar swing. That's unfortunate that his financial situation has gotten so far away from where it was previously. It used to be a well-off altar. Now he's simply ruined. The spirit fades as suddenly as it appeared. Okay. Well, that sort of puts us in an interesting situation. The face of this statue has had most of its features struck off, along with portions of its hands. Huh. Okay, well, I don't know if that denotes it. It's like, <gasps> ooh, we found ourselves. A deer has found something. What is this? Ooh, it's a treasure podium. That's my favorite kind of podium. A scroll, a fan of flames. As I said before, I am a fan of flames. Let's go on over here. We've got a little bit of bloodstone, a little bit of agate, and some copper pans. Okay. Okay. Is there anything else up and in here? I wonder if I should just like sneak around. Are we already on speedy mode? We are already on speedy mode. Ooh, over on this side, we've got like some water flowage, which makes me wonder. Did I check this over here? Let's make sure there's not any secret doors around. So I have been reading your comments and I have been figuring out how to play the game a little bit better. I know that you all said that I should try and be behind enemies as much as possible. Just be all up in that derriere with a blade trying to cleave them. And so I will try and do that in the future. You also said that I should sneak around a lot more because it uncovers secret stuff. And so I'm a fan of secret stuff. I love secret stuff. Secret stuff, honestly, when you were a little kid, did you? I used to do this where I used to like fantasize about maybe finding like secret doors and stuff in my parents' house. Even though I knew deep down it would never happen. And like, you know, I knew it wouldn't occur, but I really, really hoped it would. And sometimes hope is enough to just like push circumstance over the edge and maybe make it happen. Okay, maybe not completely, but you know, what was that? Sorry about that. Fraps randomly decided to just like change the directory it was going to record in. That's an enjoyable feature of a program that I wish I didn't use. I use everything, but honestly, it's just like the easiest and quickest, which is why I tend to boot it up first. Anything on this side? We've still got nothing, huh? Well, did they say that it was going to be in a sequence or anything for the bells? Because I feel like we're lacking information right here. Let's see here. Struck the largest bell first rather than second. Forgot and struck the second. See, I don't feel like I have enough information right now to solve this. Did I have another one? Let's see here. That one doesn't say anything about bells. Do any of these books say anything about bells? I need a control F on this thing. I don't think that that's got anything interesting. I see no, I'm scanning very quickly and I see no word bell. Let's see here. I don't think I'm going to see anything in here either because it's about dialects. The Great Western Stag, that doesn't appear to be anything interesting. 
small volumes of verses of water hear me voice okay i don't really care about random hymns i don't know i never read lore books and video games it's boring it doesn't do anything for me never has never will what does this say over here the tattered note all right so that's not the one okay well leaves us in kind of a weird situation doesn't it that's a bear hide so obviously we don't have anything written on there Hmm. Well. That is a little bit odd. I wonder if we can work the rest of the clues out from being, like, in here somewhere. I don't know what I appear to have missed, but I know we don't have, any, like, enough information from what we're holding right this second. So, can I just pick it? Do we have an engraved silver key? Let me take a look at my inventory. I don't think we ever picked up an engraved silver key from anywhere. Yeah, I don't see an engraved silver key anywhere in our inventory, so I don't think we have that either. Okay, well, since we don't have the key... Examining the bells. They appear to be fully intact. I don't know. I guess we could just do, like, a basic sequence. Like, just go from one side to the other. Like, right to left or something? I don't know. Apparently we have more than either we got it wrong. I don't know if the game's ever gonna indicate if we did it wrong or not. I have no idea. Like we don't know how many participants we have in this whole thing, so like I don't know, we just go back the other way maybe until it stops and at least then we'll have like a decent idea of I don't know if it's ever gonna pause us at one point and be like you have clicked too many times so that we can know how many let's just I guess we'll go like right to left and then back again. The deep resonating peel echoes through the ruins. Oh, it's not going... Oh, I think we did something. A strange hush falls upon the room, muting the sound of bells and the eternal drip of damp-like stone. And then a sudden dissonant toll sounds from the bell, so loud and piercing you are compelled to cover your ears. That's not good. I don't like it when people compel me. you got to make that mind check. And at last, silence once more. That was weird. Did it do anything? That still requires... So that didn't do anything for us, where we go like... Well, I don't think we got it right, but at least we know that there's four now, I think? So at least we know that there's four bells now. Technically, that is enough to brute force. It wouldn't be that bad, but it's not something that I envy the thought of doing, like, on camera. We also don't even know if it affects any... Wait, what? Oh, it's open now. Wait, why was it locked before? What? I'm so confused. Whatever, I'm not going to question a good thing. Let's just Let's just move forward. How about that? Let's move forward, because frankly, wasting time- Oh, there's stairs right there? Ooh. Okay. Well, since we found ourselves several pairs of stairs, I guess with our bear here, I can bear to go down the stairs into the lair. It's strange looking back all the time I spent here growing up, never seeing what was coming. Alright, well, I guess we kind of lucked our way through that one. Ain't that a bitch. Eh, works out for- Oh, no, what the hell is that? A shadow? So I'm fighting shadows themselves. Oh man, this is gonna be whack. I know this is gonna be awful. It appears as though we- Oh my god, it teleports. That's horrific. Bear, go around from behind. Own it! Hiya! My battle bear moves forward to destroy my foes with reckless aban- Ow! Stop destroying me! Use that before we're out of combat. Yay! So there it is. What did he drop? A spirit residue, or she drop, I guess. A he drop, a she drop, you know, a me drop. Let's see, we've got... I guess you could say a you drop, a me drop, a desk mate, a me crab. You gotta do, like, something. You gotta bring in the South Park reference right there somewhere. Is there anything in this room that I want? I actually don't like the fact that you have to stealth in order to, like, look for traps and stuff. It's just, it makes you move too slowly, and I'm the kind of person who likes to blow through things very, very quickly. That's just how I do. Oh, there's another one right there. Just in yeah. case you were interested in that. Can I battle cast on this guy like a G? Let's see. I can punish him for his sins. Divine Terror. Combat only. So apparently I can't nail people with these outside of combat. Hey, Lame. Alright. Well, get started with the battle here. And then I will have... You go around from behind since you're the biggest and the right. baddest. 
and see if maybe attacking from behind will get us through this a little bit more efficiently. I don't suppose that I need, like, magical gear or anything to make this work properly, right? How about, hey, what are you guys doing right now? Hey, how about you drop up in here and do some stuff? How about that? How does that sound? Sound good? Maybe, like, go over there. Bear, I don't know if you want to turn around and fight with him since, you know, problems. Okay, so a little bit of health back. Oh, no. Okay, so you get over here. You fight right there. I may need the bear in just a second to extract himself from this situation. Our main character, let's take him. Let's just have him, let's have him drop like a lovely little Healy heal right there. How's that sound? And maybe that'll help us like stay, oh no, there's another one over there. That's not good. Oh, it teleported out. Okay, so that's fine. That means I can reposition the bear over here to help out with that. I could bring you over, actually, who is that one attacking? Okay, so the exchange is going in between them. Let's have him go over to here. We will drop another heal on this side for all of them. That'll help out a little bit. And then I'll have you move up and behind right... Oh my god, he's just getting clipped on so hard right now. Like, I don't know if you guys want to maybe, like, land a hit or something. Instead of being giant phenomenal failures. But I would love it if you would do that. Drop a heal on yourself right there. Okay, so there's a little bit more loving coming on in. We need some kind of, like, dispel evil type deal. That's what we need right now. In d and I would just dispel the shit out of these guys because I'm a cleric, and I'd just be like, eh, that's what you get. I would just turn undead all day long. Unfortunately, we don't have that. Yeah, I, just, I guess just go Crucible of the Will or something, and then keep on fighting. The bear does not appear to be that useful either. It seems like he's barely getting anything done. There we go, onto this side. Get him all up in behind, and if he swaps targets, who'd he swap targets to? Okay, so if he's gonna swap targets, you get in behind him quicker. Because that'll work out. And then let's use our last heal so that we get mileage out of this, because I think we're gonna have to camp anyways after this little foray into the enemy territory. There it is, and so now we've dropped another enemy. Our mage should be able to pick himself up off the ground. He's looking rather smeared right now, and not in like a political ad sense. It looks like he's basically just like not on his feet. He's missing some HP for right now, so let's go in here. I don't know if this matters, but close the door right here. There we go. And then on bringing this back, it may be the shield's fault. We may want to get rid of these shields. Might be the problem with our hit rate. We are not hitting stuff right now. We're just missing over and over and over again. It appears to be, oh, Woogie's not dealing any damage. So if we take a look down here, let's find out. So in the stone okay, so we got three right there. A deer gets one. Maybe use fire against them. Might work out. I don't know. I think I need to get a little bit more casty against those. But at the moment, HP is looking a little bit scarce. We got plenty of camping supplies. So let's just hang out for a minute. In fact, we are going to literally camp right here. And then we'll head on in. I'm actually going to hit the F5 key. Because I love not redoing stuff that I've already done, just in the off chance that we die. And so now, quiet. we get to decide which direction we want to wander into. I figure going northward doesn't look so bad. I suppose this counts as northeastward since the map is sort of isometric. Hey, of course. Got a couple of them right there. So a phantom? How much worse is he than like one of the normal ones? Close that door. I'm just going to scout everything out for right now. Apparently their healer, like their hearing is really, really awful. Because that door was really creaky and loud. Like it was really trying to give us away. It basically came with a self-installed burglar alarm inside of it. Should have got caught right there, but didn't. Should have, but didn't. Maybe I should take the... Yeah, let's take... I don't know if she has any sneaking skill, but... Five mechanics right there. I think he's got that covered. I shot. Right. Wait, what was your mechanic skill? Hold on, buddy. What's your mechanic skill? Go back to your sheet right now. Go back to your sheet real quick. I need to see your sheet. You got that right there. Okay, down here. Mechanics four. So he's right outside. He might be able to slightly get it done, though, if he tries really, really hard. Okay, so he got it finished off right there. Let's check out this little room. My hope is that we'll level up at some point, and that'll make us a little bit more proficient at the combat we are trying to accomplish. 
So this dude's gonna teleport in, I think. Let's get you two on here. There it is, a little bit of damage done. Let's get the bear around behind, even though I don't think that's... Every time with that shit, every time, teleporting in on the mage. So if he's gonna switch targets, I'm gonna move him out real quick. And then we'll do our best to box him in again. There you go. Let's see. Where's the bear going to go? Okay, so the bear's going to go over there. Give him the magic missile. That didn't look like much bombardment right there. I thought the ability was called Arcane Assault. That was more like Arcane... I got started on the task, but also didn't really care that much. So maybe I'll save it till tomorrow. That's a really long title. I think we're going to have to abbreviate it a little bit. Alright, so another one bites the dust. Didn't leave us any loot, unfortunately, so I guess we'll scoot. Where is this going? Down to a creepy room with a giant statue? Oh, good. Bad things never happen in creepy rooms with giant statues. So we got a couple of slimes over here. I'm going to open up on this side. Send the bear back real quick. <laughs> bear back. Anyways, send the bear back. We'll hang out over on this side and just have the bear tank for a little bit. I'll also have the healer. Maybe throw out a little heal over here to the bear. On this side, let's get an arcane assault going. There it is, a little bit of damage done. On this side, it feels like Adir has a pretty good handle on the situation. Oh, he was out of range? That's a little bit bad, but go back over here and deal with the ooze. That's going to teleport over to there, as it is known to do. I'm just going to put it in a decent position to get arcane missiled. I guess you guys work on this first. The big guy right here is the one that I'm the most worried about. He seems to be the biggest and like most pivotal concern, so we'll keep an eye on him. Let's go for burning wounds on everybody we can get it on, like on that side. And then he's about to go down, so I don't think we have to worry too much about handling him right this second. Let's go for that ability, actually. Let's just AoE heal real quick. Alright, so unfortunately the bear's down. I don't know if you want to cast that at any point. So I'm going to have you turn around and deal with the slime now because he was getting attacked from behind by the slime just a second ago. I think she's not going to be able to do much against the slime, so I'm going to have her break out the claymore. Let's have her get in here with melee. On this side, I'm going to have you go ahead with that right there so that we can get some HP back. And so his little burning AoE appears to be helping some. I'm going to have you get your Aragorn on real quick. Yep, 10 damage done right there. Definitely being a little bit more efficient at the annihilation of my foes. And so if we're going to focus on efficiency for right now, I think that's the way that I'd like to have it orientated. Let's see here. We've got a bunch of black slimes. And another black slime, in fact. I don't know what we're going to need those for. Probably some kind of alchemical reagent. But at the moment, we're pretty much broken. Don't really have much to do with any of this, so... There it is. Let's indeed take this nice and slow and see if there's any loose stones or anything that we can push around here that will give us more treasure. Because I love treasure. Treasure's fantastic. It's half the reason I dungeon dive. The other half is just the wanton slaughter of creatures that are different from me. So the still dark waters are reflective as black glass. I've never looked at black glass and thought, hey, how reflective. I don't know. It seems to be more of like an obstruction type deal, like an opacity type thing to keep you from looking too deeply. Either way, though, that fight almost went really badly. I want you, like, in a different spot in my line. I really, really hate your position in my line right now. And I would much All prefer right, it if you were elsewhere. Okay, so we got a couple of Skulder Whelps in here. If there's one of him, I can virtually guarantee okay. you there's probably going to be another one up and in here. Let's take the Ranger. Oh, my God. So what the hell is that? The Skulder King? Hmm. Okay. That seems sketchy. Definitely seems sketchy. We'll come back later. Come back a little bit later. I don't think we fought any of those right there. And he looks like he has a serious capacity for ass whooping. Like, it looks like he's running on full right now. Like, he just hit whatever station it is you use to refuel on ass whoopings. And got himself just like a topped off tank. There's a screech of metal and a snapping noise as you pull the lever. Great, you broke it. We've been in the dungeon eight seconds and you broke it. The hell is that? There's dead bodies around it. I don't trust this. Yeah, exactly. Okay. 
The light rises from the bones as you approach. You have a moment to register the faintest image of a standing figure. Features of blur, of mist and smoke, before the world tilts. It's as if you've stepped sideways into a new life. You're racing down a flight of stairs, following a weaving circle of torchlight. Your own panting breaths are loud in your ears. Panic and your robes alike foul your steps, and you nearly stumble before a hand reaches out to grip your arm and steady you, a fellow acolyte who smiles encouragement as you reach the bottom. You run around and pass the shallow reflection pool that marks the lowest point of the temple, following the dark shapes of the older priests as they lead the way towards the narrow hall that leads into the vault. You pass one of the torchbearers as you go. The harsh illumination of the flames reveals a familiar face. For a moment, your awareness spans time and identity, and you think Weirtan has joined you here at the bottom of the temple. In the memory, he glances at you for a moment, then looks past at someone else. I'll come back once they're gone, he's saying. You're being pressed along by the crowd, and his words are growing faint. Just keep quiet. We can't take any chances. Inside the vault, golden relics gleam like welcoming stars. The memory twists, drawing you loose from one moment and plunging you into another like a flung doll. There is only darkness around you now. You think of yourself blinded until the knowledge settles onto you like a cloak. The candles have all burnt away. You now, too, with a thick certainty that nobody coming, nobody is coming. There is a cracking noise somewhere to your left, a wet slurping gurgle and a ragged sob. You cannot see, and so you cannot know which brother or sister has fallen and which digs after what a bo wait, which digs after what water a body may provide. You hear in the faint murmuring to your right the familiar cadence of prayer, but you no longer recognize words. That sentence is really, really awkward right there. They should have said, they should have said, and what digs after what body, what water a body may provide. I don't know. It's, it's, I'm sure it's grammatically correct, but it's an odd sentence. You're too tired to do harm. The thirst is like fire within you. Your tongue is thick in your throat, and every breath is a struggle that leeches strength from you. There is a light, they said, at the end of every bout of darkness, but this one does not end. The spirit releases you and you come back to yourself in pieces. Your vision clears and in the vault around you is revealed once more, cast in muted hues by the sickly illumination of the soul, still drifting like fading fog. Fear wafts off the spirits and waves fraying at your own emotions. Well, what's to be afraid of? You're already dead. The spirit seems to withdraw into itself. The sense You sense less of its fear and confusion as it recedes, but the soul lingers still. No matter how many times I see you staring off at nothing, it doesn't get less weird. Gather the remains, I guess. You, send a, you spend a few moments gathering up what you can find of the bones of the priest. It proves a heavy and gruesome burden, but you manage to recover them all. Okay, so that's taken care of. They decided to reload the map right there. I think what I needed to do, actually, is I needed to go to the game things, and I needed to show... There was an option in here that people had mentioned that would be very, very, there we go, personality, reputation, because honestly, that would help out a lot, especially considering we're playing a cleric right now. Let's sneak through the room and make sure that there's not traps in the gloom spelling out our doom and, you know, all those random hey. rhymings and phrasings. That's a lot of... Unusual. There you go. There's something nice on that side. Keep looking. That's right. Be a deer and find all the treasure for us. Yes. All right, a deer. Head on over here. Wow, got himself a potion of minor regeneration, spirit shield, turquoise, Baratheon scriptures, and ten coins. Sounds good. Two mechanics over on this side, so let's unlock that. We've got a golf club. Oh, Gon's share. What is it? A flail, a one-handed flail, ten to fifteen crush. Convert graze to hit. Fine and draining. Oh, that's pretty badass. Okay, and then we got a pry bar over on that side, which would have saved me money. We'll take that fine ass flail on that side. Had a little bit of Adra right there. And then where was the rest? We got one right there. And so that's going to have Silver Lucies in there. Huh? And so we've got that covered. Let's go back in. In the true interest of being an actual priest, maybe, just maybe, 14 to 21. It does more damage, but this one right here converts grazes to hits, which I think might be a big deal. I don't know how frequently we're grazing, and in fact, we can see how often we're doing that little sheepy activity over here on this side. Let's see here. We have melee right there. Bash hits. Let's find for bag of bones. Hits lesser for 16. So you got to roll 60 defense. Wow, that's a that's an equation right there. I should probably work my way through that at some point just to make sure that I know how it works. But honestly, in the middle of an episode, I don't think is the wisest time to do it. I don't know. I try to keep those things in private anyways. Let's head on back to the main staircase. Until we level up a little bit more, I am a tad paranoid about going in and fighting with those big guys in there. It seems like the kind of enemy that might be able to unleash the Daka on us, or at least the Scratcha on us, very, very aggressively, and honestly, probably to a very, very good point, and so I'd rather avoid it for now. In this room, what do we have going on? 
Okay, so we have another group of uh, specters. A couple of them. I have no doubt that upon... Is that a more powerful one? Or is it just a different color? Okay. I have no doubt that this fight has yeah. the distinct likelihood of being nasty. But I think I may go for it anyways. I? Of course. Let's pull him into the back lines. And I'm just going to leave the bear with him this time. Because they seem to like going back and after mm -hmm. him. On this left-hand side, let's drop on out of here. Yeah. And so there it is. We should be seen in just a moment. So there it is. Now that we're in combat, I'm going to take a second to use a bless on the party. Okay, we've all been blessed. I'm actually going to try and run a few more buffs and debuffs while we're in here. We've got Iconic Projection. And so it does freeze damage. Since they deal freeze damage, I'm willing to bet that they're probably freeze resistant. Prayer Against Infirmity and Still Doubt. Maybe Iconic Projection. No, Suppress Affliction. Consecrated Ground. Let's go for that right now. Because I think there is a chance that we're about to take a lot of damage. I'm going to have him engage right here. Have her engage right here. And let's just watch the health bars for a second. So there it is. Our mage has not totally engaged just yet. I don't know if you get attacks of opportunity on, cro on close range casts just yet. That may be something we have to experiment and find out for. I believe that you do. It looks like we just got clipped with one. So let's go back to the cleric and let's throw out another big heal. There it is. Make everybody feel a little bit nicer. This shadow over here on the left-hand side is suffering the worst for wear. I think the Claymore is getting the job done, especially when we're combining damage right here. We all need to swap targets onto this weaker one right here, How may I help? if at all possible. Turn your back on that one right there. You move down to there. You move to there. And then once you're in position, let's go ahead and backstab the shit out of that one. Hey. You keep helping right there. Okay, another one bites the dust. I'm going to need you guys to swing around. You swing behind here. Go behind. What are you doing right now? The pathfinding is just wonky as hell in this game. And that's right after I said in an earlier episode that it was doing well. In fact, it is not. Do I have another encounter ability right here? Has that one already been used once per rest? Okay. Unfortunate. We're just going to have to ride this one out. We don't really have a choice. Hopefully, he doesn't get knocked out again. There it is. And so we finish it off. That's going to give us 144 XP. Moving along, what are we looking at right now for XP level ups? Like, where is that situated? I would love to find out how long we have until we level up again. Okay, so we're pretty close. I'm going to break it off right here. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me at the Nerdcast for the next episode of Pillars of Eternity. I look forward to seeing you all in future episodes. I'll see you all there. Hi, do, everybody.